hello everyone this is ron welcome to another solo leveling arise video i hope you guys are doing really amazing and in today's video i will do a couple of things on the first part i'll i'll be just showing you some of the recent updates and notices from the developers and on the second part i'm going to share my experience after watching the entire web novel of solo leveling arise which might contain some spoilers so i would give you some caution of course so first of all let me take you to the browser and a small little update from my part i, I would consider is it as an achievement of course because in the net marvel creator program hall of fame they kind of added my channel and my name so beside all legends like pain blade so when Jaff, it is so good to see that my channel is also getting some recognition so i'm totally happy and excited about it so let's talk about some updates that that the developers are providing cm irons surprise letter solo leveling arise so they're kind of announcing this uh, cold blooded ice queen coming that means alicia we, we talked about uh, the uh, notice in details you can of course check this out they kind of uh, described about alicia and some of the new game modes that is going to be this battlefield of chaos the new addition of gem system and they, they have a trailer we talked about this thing now let's see they are also adding something called bonds and what is this thing born this is kind of a mysterious description it doesn't really makes perfect sense but what we understand overall that this system is going to give us some rewards and probably that reward is going to be related to uh, essence stone and elixir okay these essence stones and elixir will be getting after we can level up our character or level up our bond there will be some sort of mechanisms and they have all also saying that players who have already powered up hunters will receive various rewards that means the people who have already leveled up their characters who have already maxed up their characters will automatically get those free elixir and these essence stones so it is so nice it's such a nice gesture from the developers about this game and i totally think that the game is kind of moving in a very nice direction to be honest so now let's start the second part of the video so when i compare the game with the actual web novel my first objection is going to be that the game actually doesn't really represent the entire story and let me take you to the manage team and i'm going to explain why the game kind of starts in a stage when the sang jin Woo, the weak person has already got some strength he's not really superior now but he has got enough strength to defeat many stronger enemies so they kind of uh, skipped his main uh, weak part that means his younger face that we all are familiar and that face is totally dear to us we don't really see any sort of uh, those changes in this game i wish that they kind of structured it in a way that maybe we could could start the gameplay with the younger version of sang jin Woo. then after a couple of job changes we will get a newer outfit and finally we will get this sort of uh, uh, appearance at some point but probably they couldn't do it due to some uh, uh, intellectual right reasons because the, the, the actual producer or actual creator of the stories they had to approve certain stuffs. my second objection is would be about kang in this game kang is a kind of a normal sr character with no importance whatsoever but I think he's an important character and the interaction between Sang Jin Woo and Kang happened in a very important moment when Kang kind of betrayed everyone and he attacked the entire team. Lee, Lee Jong Woo or, or Song, Song Chi Wool both were there and they were all of them were attacked and Sang Jin Woo kind of defeated Kang and he kind of saved the entire team. So that was a very important turn in the story where Sang Jin Woo kind of revealed his true strength to all of all of his uh, team members and if i take you to the team uh, manage team section once again this is this guy is basically his instructor or the usual team leader and this is uh, this character lee jo he she's a kind of uh, his girlfriend and this guy is also a kind of uh, a supporter and follower so all of them are kind of were attacked especially these two person was attacked by kang and sang jiru kind of saved them so I think this is a kind of an important moment and they made this guy a kind of a usual SR but I think 
in actual reality he's kind of really strong and really fast i think we could expect some strong banners of this character in future I'm, and i'm definitely looking forward to this character because he's a kind of a unique character and, and he has some of his unique philosophy and i also met this guy joe Wan. he is also going to be a magic magic damage dealer a magic lightning I also meet this guy Huang Dong Suk. He is a character who kind of betrays everyone and he's kind of a bad guy to be honest and Sang Jin Woo kind of destroyed him. That was the famous double dungeon episode and that was a very important moment when Sang Jin Woo actually came across at uh, first he realized his supernatural powers. And I also came across some other characters and if we talk about CO, I, I, I don't know who is CO. First 12 episode, I don't really see CO or Emma, Libora. This guy, Huang Tong Su. This guy is the brother of this guy. And when Sang Jin Woo killed this guy, his brother is now, who is an S ranked fighter, who is superbly strong. And he's way too strong that even law and order department or the police, they cannot do anything about him. They're totally afraid of him. This guy is now after Sang Jin Woo. He is going to destroy him. He has his plans. Sang Jin Woo is also aware of that. And in this point, kind of the, the first season ends. So Sang Jin Woo is kind of in a threatened situation right now. Choi, on the other hand, he is a kind of leader and a kind of a high official, of course. Baikono is a vice president. Can you freaking believe it? He's the vice president of the hunters organization. But Choi is also in a very high executive position. He also fights, but he's a very, very strong S ranked fighter. Another reputed S ranked fighter that I came across is going to be our battlefield dancer, Jahain. She's a very, very respected fighter. She's also a S ranked fighter. At the same time, she is she is she's a kind of a guild leader, and there's a thing called guild in the game uh, in the in the actual web novel too. So as a result, the game this game is also going to uh, bring the system of the guild. Now, when the uh, episode number twelve ends, actually he is uh, Sang Jin who is already has defeated Igrit, kind of defeated Igris and his uh, robotic army and as a result he got a job change and now he's a necromancer and he now kind of can command the shadows there's the army of shadows he can command the shadows and this is one of the shadows also so this is a totally insane mechanism and i'm totally waiting for the second season to see that what is going to happen so i hope this uh, video was helpful to you and interesting to you especially if you are playing this game if you are willing to enjoy this game i think you should definitely watch the um, web novel it's totally worth it guys and i totally can recommend thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends